Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to Running from Cheetahs with Nikita. I'm your host, Nikita. Welcome to the unofficial podcast of the Charles University in Pilsen. And today's guest is Dr. Kutiza. Hi, hi. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Um, first question, yeah, you were you were related to the Kutiza. Oh, I, I, I was expecting this question. <laughs> <laughs> I am. That's my uh, that's my father, okay. the Kutiza. You call him the Kutiza. I uh, he has like uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, I I didn't know that there is a second one before. Uh, like we we didn't have the opportunity to have class together. You're also teaching. Yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah. I am, uh, and I'm sorry that I uh, <laughs> couldn't teach you. It must be very entertaining to <laughs> to be your, I, your I, teacher. Yeah. You, you're working in the in Lochotin. Yeah. Yes, as a gastroenterologist. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. The research <laughs> the research team is on point. It's <laughs> like everything that could be researched about me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah. Um, so um, then, since since your your father is. Uh, a chem, yeah, uh, um, a, f- a fa- basically uh, famous for being a chemistry teacher. Infamous. Infamous, yeah, <laughs> yes. He's um, he's the stricter of the. Everybody says he's the stricter of the both examiners. Of biochemistry. Know, yeah. Of biochemistry. Like yes. Professor Chen Mi and yes. my father. Yeah, I guess that this is because he. Uh, I think he teaches more of the the, um, the foreign students, maybe. Yeah. So. Yeah, he has this uh, aura about him uh, mm. that he is strict, but uh, is he? Um, I mean, you, you have no. gone through. Yeah, no, it was, <laughs> it was, but I did, he didn't examine me. Yeah, okay. but he did examine my girlfriend and uh, like it, it took 45 minutes. Uh, and she, uh, made and it. she, she made it. She yes. made it she on made the first it. try. Yes, yes. So yeah. I guess that's. That's fine. <laughs> That's cool. If she didn't, I wouldn't be invited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but um, were you then? Did you have to draw a lot of chemical formulas when you were a child? Um, yeah, since I was like two years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. But uh, when I um, when I enrolled or when I when I was admitted uh, to, uh, to the uh, medical faculty, uh, I guess that he was like. Um, not really. Um, he he wasn't uh, strict. Uh, he he didn't um, watch over me that much. But uh, obviously, when I did biochemistry, uh, there was this test uh, that I failed, and it was like two weeks before Christmas, three weeks before Christmas. And he didn't talk to me until Christmas. <laughs> he didn't say a word. It's like I never existed. And then Jeez. I don't know whether something something happened uh, yeah. or my mother talked to him or I don't know. <laughs> the Christmas were fine, but you, also, uh, you, you still got Christmas presents. Yeah, I, I st- okay. Still got Christmas presents, and we had you know the all these uh, traditions. But until then, for the three weeks, he didn't say a word. It was he was really really upset that I didn't. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I failed biochemistry. Yeah, it was yeah. just a test and a, a stupid test to that. Yeah, yeah. Did so, it? Did, did he influence you in a way, uh, so move you towards towards medicine, um, or m- w- maybe provoke more interest in in life sciences? Like not actively, I yeah. think, but maybe he was passively trying to move me in that direction. Okay. And I have a sister; she's mm-hmm. four years older uh, than me, and she, you know, like uh, um, uh, she she did uh, she studied economics. So, so that was one uh, member of the family or one child of his that didn't go this way. So I guess he expected uh, someone because my grandfather was also a doctor. So I guess he expected that uh, I would uh, go in this direction. And I guess I was also expected to do this and I, I, I didn't, um, you know, uh, I didn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I did want to do architecture or design it was just one thing that uh, interested me, but uh, in the end, I, I'm here and I'm I'm happy. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you also a father now yourself? Is it? Is it yeah, right? I yeah. am. I have a yeah. two-year-old son. He's great. <laughs> so that's. And I don't want him to be a doctor, really. Okay, that was actually one of my questions I, I, I was thinking. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I don't <laughs> want him to be a doctor. <laughs> why? Why no? Um, I don't know. It's just too stressful, I think. And uh, I'm not complaining, but I think that there are jobs that you know might be you might be happier doing than than being a doctor. But I don't want anyone to, you know, to, to discourage. <laughs> discourage. I know that uh, some some of you who are watching us that uh, are about to be doctors, it, it's a it's a great thing. It's uh, it's awesome uh, when you are in this mindset, you want to help people, and um, but uh, you know, doing it only for uh, some for yourself. It's it's a hard thing to do. You have to be really um, there for the people, and n not everybody has this. Mm -hmm. um, here, then, a quick reminder to our audience that you, of course, can post question in the chat, and uh, we'll answer them either during the interview or in the very end. Yeah. Um, so I, I would, uh, and uh, how how is it now um, becoming a father? Yeah. Is it uh, did you always did you expect that it's going to be like this or did it came uh, come did it come as, as a surprise <laughs> like the a child a child you know? <laughs> no it actually actually uh, we with my with my wife now we uh wanted a child obviously mm -hmm. and uh it just happened quite uh, normally and and uh, it was uh, it was a great experience and it still is and um the only thing is that when you have a child, and I'm not, you know, um, I'm not old. I, I guess I, I'm, I'm still feeling like uh, um, uh, that it, I wasn't expecting uh, this change, this huge mm -hmm. change in my lifestyle, in my life, and uh, even in the work. Uh, it was very, uh, very um, hard sometimes to have the time and the the energy. Mm. For you know, raising up a little little baby, a little boy. Mm. So in this uh, in, in this like mindset, it's uh, sometimes difficult, but so rewarding. I was uh, like I was thinking like I'm I'm 28 myself, and I'm thinking okay maybe I'm gonna have kids in the next 10 years or so. Yeah, and um, I'm thinking like. The role of the dad kind of changed, yeah. For, uh, lately, yeah, it used to be that it, it's kind of uh, the one who brings money home, the one who kind of earns money, and now you are more of uh, somebody who actively participates yeah. in raising raising yeah. the child. Like, uh, do you do you find it hard to to balance it somehow? Yeah, that's a great great uh, ex um, question, or you know, thing that I also. Uh, feel that's different than it used to be because even my father uh, he wasn't home much uh, and uh, I uh, always uh, felt like the role of the the father of the family was to bring money and to um, make uh, you know a career for yourself or for himself mm -hmm. and so I, I wasn't expecting to um, be like so actively um, present, um, you know, raising uh, the, uh, my son, and I, I'm grateful for it. Uh, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's just sometimes it's too much. You know, you have a huge amount of work, and uh, it takes uh, much of your energy. And then when you come home, you have to, uh, or you don't have to, but um, I, I like that obviously. But well, there is a responsibility. Yeah, yeah and yeah, also, yeah. also. It's just so great when uh, the uh, my, when my son uh, sees me uh, not as uh, someone who's just bringing home uh, or who, who who you know gets the money and who um, uh, is like responsible for for his well-being, but also who teaches him something uh, to um, get better, uh, at, you know, to, to behave himself. And yeah. Is there is there something you you really would like? To your your son to learn from you or to to give to him as a maybe a quality or a life lesson. 
Oh, that's deep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, last, uh, our last interview was uh, with a psychologist, so... <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <It is> like <laughs> from, uh, So you, you have, you have <laughs> like, picked up something? <laughs> yes, I think so. Yeah. It's like a psychiatry uh, <laughs> lesson here. No, um, you know, I'm just... Uh, I think the most important thing when you're uh, a dad is to be true to yourself and don't um, don't try and be something that you're not don't try and uh, you know uh, like don't push it mm. just be yourself be um, um, the child knows when when you're uh, when you're um, too tired and you're just uh, making too much effort just be yourself and uh, it's amazing how much uh, the my son um, you know uh, he copies what I do yeah so you have to be careful sometimes <laughs> also you have to be careful what you're saying because uh, I'm so not you like see picking up swear words yeah <laughs> the class <classic>. unfortunately <laughs> and you know it's funny at first because uh, you have this child voice saying these words yeah. and it's very funny <laughs> and you but, want to do it more <laughs> but then you know when he's <laughs> but then you're like oh wait a second <laughs> when someone else you know uh, listens to this and hears it um it's not so funny anymore yeah so you have to be you have to be careful but be yourself um and the, the child knows it and he's he's then um happier when you're just uh, you're not uh, pushing it. Yeah, like I, when I'm thinking about watching watching a child grow up, like first of all, I'm, I cannot relate so much to babies, like very small. What fascinates me about them is kind of their maybe how how they develop and start talking and this whole <laughs> so sort of scientific like, point. Do, do tests I, yeah, on I them. Really, I really would like to do experiments yeah. with them. <laughs> would like test the reflexes, you know, when they, yeah. you know, those primitive reflex when they disappear, yeah, yeah, yeah. when they, yeah, yeah. how they try to... I didn't to do that with my son, no, you know. No, no. That's, you missed out. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it just didn't come to me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, you will. You will be. Uh, you will have to tell me then. Uh, yeah. But the yeah. test I will, came out. I will exchange positive. numbers. I'll tell, send you the video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you? Um, they, they they often say that father is kind of has a hard time relating to very small kids. You know, and then more. Uh, when they but grow up, it's yeah, better. Yeah. When they, when you can 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 play with them. Yeah, yeah. So I, I I heard that as well, but I didn't have this. Uh, yeah. But I think it has to come naturally to you. Mm. Actually, I was very afraid when, um, you know, when we knew that um, my wife Janicka, when when she was pregnant, uh, I was like, I also <laughs> wanted a girl, to be honest, because uh, when I thought about having a son. I, I was afraid that I'm going to be too strict okay. and I, you know, would want my son to be like me and, I don't know, be, be accomplished and so on. But uh, then it kind of naturally develops and uh, when he was a baby, uh, I, I could relate very, very, very well to, the, to him. Uh, but it came naturally, I, I guess that you, you cannot be taught. Uh, to take care of a baby, you have to just have it in, in you. But it's not, um, if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. I mean, the mother is always, always the, the one who <laughs> takes care of these small children, but it's a bonus when, you, when the, the dad can do it as well. Yeah, that's nice. Um, let's uh, let, let's do, do a rough turn here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it was <laughs> too deep. I, I guess. <laughs> we, will go, we will go back on the surface, and you um, you, you chose to be a gastroenterologist. Um, uh, like yeah. What is uh, what was the motivation behind? Or well, first of all, I didn't choose to you, be a yeah. gastroenterologist. I was uh, uh, I was chosen. I like to be a gastroenterologist. Not that I didn't want to do it, but uh, when I. Um, when I was admitted to the internal clinic, uh, we all the, the new like interns, uh, we had to do uh, all of the 
um, the medicine, the internal medicine, we have to um, cycle the boards mm -hmm. and learn the diabetology and nephrology, gastroenterology. We, we just, uh, you know, mm. sorry? No, sorry, no, it's just, I, I thought you would have a board with a time. <laughs> Usually he'll show me what time it is, so I can uh, I know oh, I, I can, can orient you. myself. <laughs> it's okay, I can see it over there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I interrupted. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's fine. So, so anyway, I, I, yeah. we I, like for three years or so, I um, was just this general internal doctor, and then uh, they uh, kind of asked me whether I wanted to do gastroenterology because they wanted me there, and I said, yeah, fine, why not. Uh, and then when I started doing it, I was uh, just, um, it, it was great. Uh, I was so, so surprised and so, um, so happy that uh, they chose this specialty mm. for me um, because I didn't know it back then, but uh, it's, uh, it's a thing uh, it, in, in general medicine. And I don't want this to be like uh, too much doctory stuff, but uh, in internal medicine, you always like are thinking mm. uh, about the patients and about their medication and so on, and you are not doing much uh, with your hands. Okay. But gastroenterology, uh, on the contrary, is only I think the only one or the the most uh, like manually uh, intensive uh, part of internal medicine. You, you do the endoscopies and you um, even do some surgery, some small surgery uh, with the endoscopes. So in this way, it's uh, it was great for me because uh, I I think that I wouldn't be happy just uh, doing mental stuff. I always wanted to do something with my hands. So for, mm -hmm. for some of you who, who want to do internal medicine but also wants to do something manually, gastroenterology is a great a great specialty. Why not surgery then? Why not surgery? Yeah. Well. Um, I always like nice. saw surgery. You want to yeah. do surgery, I guess. I, I no, why? <laughs> is my my former roommate said I should do, or she thought I would do orthopedic surgery. You know, just because you know? <laughs> because I exercise regularly. I think this is quite a stereotype. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> you can run, so you have to be <laughs> orthopedics. No, uh, yeah. Surgery, I, I never like uh, meant to go that way because I always like was uh, you know physiology and and, and um, pharmacology these the, these uh, topics interested me. So uh, I wanted to be an anesthesiologist uh, uh, when I came out of school and when I was uh, looking for a job and maybe in pediatrics also uh, it, it interested me quite a um, bit. And internal medicine, and uh, the only uh, free space was uh, in internal medicine, so I, I went there. But I didn't really know, you know, surgery. I don't want to be a surgeon, but uh, now I think it was just a stereotype that I thought surgeons only uh, were interested in, in surgery and, and mm. not uh, about the patients and about their the diseases, medication. Only just the, you know, the. Uh, how, how to say it, <laughs> not like in a bad way. So you want to be a surgeon? I, I actually, no, no, I, I think I will go to internal medicine yeah. as well. Yeah, do, you, do you know what first. a double blind study is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two surgeons and an ECG. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I have to say surgeons have, uh, have the best uh, jokes somehow. Yeah. Yeah, they, like, um, one, uh, <laughs> You can say it here, I guess. <laughs> Professor Lischka one told during a practical, <laughs> oh, no. like, what, is, <laughs> what are the three main procedures in gynecology? Uh, I don't know. Well, it, obviously the uh, uh, hysterectomy, yeah, and then the cutting of the right ureter and cutting of the left ureter. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, so we have uh, some questions also from the audience. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, I, I have to count. <laughs> I stopped it's counting. not a good sign. Yeah, I count. stopped counting at 30. So I'm... Uh, thir <laughs> wow, no, 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 no. 35? 
Jesus Is that Christ. something? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Three. Uh, 80, uh, I was uh, born in 1986. 80, 86. So, 30, um, I will be th 36. I will be, in this year I will be 36. Mm. But I, yeah. I feel younger. Uh, it's <laughs> any consolation. <laughs> no, you're also, you're, you're also young. I mean, um, appar apparently the girls are also uh, very fond of, or oh, fond no. of you during the class at least. So, no, no, no. Young. <laughs> so, so you definitely look younger. <laughs> So you think like 36 is just uh, it's it's old. <laughs> I don't look. I'm I'm also about to hit 30 in, in like uh, two years and a bit. And it are you seems afraid of, of turning 30? Is yes, it like... it's a scary number. I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, for you it was. No, it, it was just like another day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I don't think it's it's a scary number. Uh, like maybe 50 years ago. Yeah. Or maybe maybe 200 years ago when you turned 30, it's, it yeah. was like the, the end. <laughs> but, you, but you really have to be, I don't know, to me it feels you have to be an adult by like, by 30 you have to figure it out. You know what I mean? Like you can, okay, so you're a you teenager and then yeah. you're 20s, you can, uh, you know, explore things and figure things out. You kind of have a, a little bit of an idea where things are going by then. Or yeah. am I, wait, what is your... Well, I mean, you I, I already guess, have a family in the two year yeah, kids, yeah, so... Yeah, but I think that, you know, when you, uh, when you do, uh, you know, when you are a medical student, you have to have some kind of, you know, idea of what you're going to do, like, yeah, uh, it, it's, it's not like yeah. when you finish medical school and I say, okay, I want to be uh, an accountant or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. But uh, I heard about one guy, uh, and I didn't know him, uh, one doctor told it to me, uh, he ended medical school, he was like a Finnish doctor mm. and he went and I don't know whether he already did it but he started being a pilot and I was like okay that's great <laughs> <laughs> I mean finish medical school and yeah. be like okay I'm I have this and if something doesn't work out I will be a doctor <laughs> yeah w but wor worst case yeah, yeah worst case scenario <laughs> <laughs> I will return and be a doctor but he yeah he went and uh, he is an airline pilot uh, he, he's supposed to be an airline pilot oh and I mean that would be great I I yeah. always wanted to be a, a pilot would this be your plan B well yeah but I guess the, the, my passengers wouldn't be very happy with someone like, like me uh, piloted the airplane. No, it, it's it's too uh, it's too difficult now to, to be uh, anything else. I mean, I, I was uh, when you know when you have bad days at work, you're always like, okay, if uh, this is too much, what's your plan B? What, what are you going to turn yeah. back into? <laughs> okay. And I'm like, okay. Uh, I don't know anything, anything yeah. but medicine, yeah. and even medicine I don't know that well. <laughs> yeah, so. It is true, it is so true, I feel like during now med school already, um, when I talk to non-medical people, often I'm like, oh, all the things they know and the, yeah. the life, uh, yeah. the, the stuff they did. Um, and all the other, sorry, yeah. all the other schools, you know, they are more general yeah. in your, you, you can do other stuff if you finish like economics school you can be a banker you can be a I don't know, diplomat or something you can do languages so, so many things but when you finish medical school you're it's like a doctor and yeah. maybe a farm guy yeah. you, have to <laughs> you can like, look for insurance <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's a, and I when I go to work I'm like um, sometimes when I you know when I'm tired and I look at the the bus drivers, yeah. uh, when they drive the buses around Pilsen, I was like, wow, that would be great. <laughs> just <laughs> sit into the bus, you know, yeah. behind the wheel, yeah. and just drive the bus <laughs> all day, you and know? just push, push the button to open the doors, yeah. and then push it again to close the doors, and then drive to another stop. But don't forget the best thing. The best thing is when you meet another bus driver, and, and you, you can, can do this. Hi to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, yes, that's <laughs> they, they do it to everybody. Yeah. yeah um, how was your first endoscopy? 
Uh, you, they, you should ask the patients. <laughs> yeah, okay. It was fine for me. <laughs> uh, it's also scary that in Czech Republic you don't anesthetize the patient whatsoever, it's, except for a little bit of lidocaine. Yeah. In Germany, they are sedated always. For gastroscopies, yeah, yeah. That, that's true. Uh, but then again, it's like three minutes of, uh, oh, yeah. of, of like horror. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I don't think it's it's uh, necessary to. Yeah to do this, to, uh, you know, to um, put the patients under uh, during gastroscopy, is they're too short. But yeah, I, my first endoscopy was fine. Uh, it looks uh, way harder than it is. Yeah. You know, it's just a tube and uh, you have, and the endoscope is just uh, something you have to put inside the yeah. tube, so. It seems like navigating around it is yeah. quite... Yeah, you do have the wheels, but okay. you know, if you push yeah. it hard enough, it will always <laughs> find a way. <laughs> okay. okay, so what about the perforation? <laughs> no. How about, did you, um, your... Does one specialize? Do you okay, specialize? Sure. On <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like it. Yeah. I played a quite um, um, a few simulators uh, yeah. when I was uh, younger and did uh, uh, you know some PC games, so it maybe doesn't translate well. Um, I guess uh, the imagina uh, imagination uh, works when you have like 3D thinking. Mm. Uh, sometimes you can get uh, quite disorientated in inside the, the stomach, for example. So I guess that it kind of helps. And uh, but there are so many. Uh, um, accomplished and very experienced and, and great uh, endoscopists who never touched any video games, I guess. So mm. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary, but you, yeah, you do have the, the bills, you, you can, you know, turn the endoscope. Uh, but uh, the endoscopy itself, it's not that difficult or maybe it just, you know, comes in, uh, you, you pick it up very quickly. But the, the more uh, difficult stuff is um, when you're inside, I don't know the stomach or the colon to do stuff on the on the mucosa and to mm. cut uh, things because you know navigating through the intestine or, or through the upper GI it's fine you will always get somewhere but uh, when you have to cut stuff now that's when things could go wrong so okay. that's more more challenging uh, yeah but. Um, I, I guess that uh, here in Czech Republic, the um, the way that endoscopists are trained is, is uh, quite uh, well designed. Mm -hmm. you, you do not have any simulators or, or something, some fancy stuff that they have like somewhere else. But there is always someone that you can ask. There are very experienced doctors, and I'm happy uh, to be at our department where um, you know I, I they taught me everything, and I think that it's um, it's going pretty well there. Okay, nice. Do you, yeah, do you also do ERCP? Are you planning? Yeah, to I, I, I'm, uh, I do ERCP. Okay. I, I, uh, I started doing it like uh, six, no, six months ago. No, no, maybe a year ago, uh, and it's, um, it's great. It's, I think, the the best endoscopy. It's more, in, more the most interesting one, and uh, yeah. I think this one is, is, it seems way more complicated. Then, uh, yeah, it's the most. Yeah, I, I think it, it is the most complicated, uh, and also uh, I think it's the uh, the one that has also a high potential uh, in the future to become even more complicated and to do stuff that mm. only surgeons can do now. Mm. It used to be that uh, we couldn't get into the uh, to the bowel ducts and uh, all the all the stuff. Uh, all the diseases of the bile duct had to be done surgically and these surgeries are very very uh, dangerous and um, uh, and there is high mortality high morbidity but now um, endoscopies are you know they are um, developing very quickly and uh, in the future there will be many more uh, procedures that endoscopists can do that now only surgeons can do mm -hmm. so it's it's a good thing uh, to to do endoscopies. If someone wants to do endoscopies, go there. Okay, nice, nice. Do you do you have maybe um, I won't say the be the craziest, but do you have a, an interesting case to share that uh, have like 
endoscopy case that you maybe discovered something there or that it was particularly challenging or somehow really um out, uh... no not, not not myself i know that my colleague uh dr zdrohova she uh, once when i was uh, studying when i was uh, learning endoscopies um i was she, she was doing colonoscopy and um she um I was looking at it and uh, she went into the colon and then when she was like halfway through uh, we were like what's that and in the you know when you had the, the colon there was like a white uh, band mm -hmm. and this this uh, um, it looked like wire or, or like like a, like a um, band okay. like stuff I'm like, what's that I mean this is, it's not supposed to be there obviously. Yeah. And it's uh, it turned out to be a tapeworm, <laughs> and uh, it was like I don't know very long. It, it, it was uh, it was uh, it went to the small intestine, and yeah. we were like going going after it. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, that, that was quite crazy. She uh, had a case report about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. that it doesn't happen curious. every day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, we used a story with diarrhea. A story with diarrhea? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. And that actually reminds me, like, uh, I, 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 extra for this interview, I wrote a song for you. It's about... Um, it's about... Diarrhea? Love and <laughs> diarrhea, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I re I'm really bad at this. It may, it may take a while. It's fine. <laughs> so, so I, I'm a bit afraid, but, you know, go yeah. on. <clears throat> I was struck with diarrhea and occasional vomitus So I tried to hold my pants and to travel to the hospital There I met Dr. Cotiza and he said let's check the stool it was cultured for three days, result was lactobacillus <laughs> He was honestly surprised, said no more yogurt for this guy <laughs> Dr. Yogurt is not the problem, but the microbiome of my girlfriend <laughs> Yeah, that's it <laughs> Like, nice, very Thank nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I understood half the words, but even those I did, <laughs> it was very funny. Thank you. I, I really tried. It was uh, um, keeping me motivated to study. Actually, throughout the last week, I was I was trying to. What were you studying for? <laughs> uh, surgery. Yes, oh yeah. Is the so, yes. You, um, you should you should sing this song to them. Yeah, I might, might they, bring it. <laughs> when they ask you the question, I don't know, but I have this nice song. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I, will, I, will, I think I will take, I will take uh, the ukulele with me to the exam. Um, talent, thank you very much. We love the area. Yes, uh, very good comments so far. Um, so, you told us what time do we have? Yes, very nice. You told us that you are an adventurer and travel world traveler and uh, I didn't say that but. Didn't say, well, but you, told, you told us a story um, that, uh, yeah. that you experienced while traveling yeah um, and it, it got me really excited yeah uh, so um, uh, can you tell the audience the story that you so the, first the, of all you like you like backpacking yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, can you tell the audience the story that you have uh, yeah the one before? that I mentioned uh, yeah. you know I was backpacking yeah, uh, uh, through, through Thailand the other day. Uh, it was like, I don't know, five, five years ago. And I was by myself. Uh, I was with my girlfriend back then, but we, we, we weren't together for uh, such a long time. So I didn't take her with me and it was a good thing that I didn't. <laughs> and um, it was like the second to last day or s uh, something like that. Uh, I was on an island um, and uh, I wanted to do a trip on a kayak well, out to the sea mm -hmm. and I wanted to see this small cove, you know, a small island with some caves and a cove uh, and it was like four or five kilometers 
from uh, the the big island when, when I was uh, like uh, I had my um, the, the camp that I was in so I uh, rented a kayak and uh, I went out to sea um, and when I was like halfway there or maybe almost there a storm came I obviously didn't look uh, or the weather forecast, yeah, maybe. Of course. Um, <laughs> of course, when you go out to sea, it's something that you don't think about. No, uh, that was something that I should have done, I guess. Uh, but the storm kind of, you know, surprised me a bit. Uh, and I was halfway to the to this small island, halfway to the big one, so I like didn't know where to go. Uh, and I turned back, but uh, the storm was too quick for me, so. The huge waves came, okay. it was, started to rain, there was quite a bit of wind and uh, I had only like a life jacket and I didn't have it on, on me because it was really hot before. Obviously. And, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I, when I say, say the story I, I think like, you know, <laughs> are you like crazy? Or? <laughs> no. uh, it just turned out like that and uh, then this huge wave came and turned me over uh, and I fell off my kayak. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, catch the life jacket and uh, in the water I kind of, you know, stepped in on me. Uh, I, uh, uh, I caught the kayak and uh, started to swim, but I'm not a very good swimmer, mm. which is also <laughs> obvious. <laughs> obvious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Looking back, I shouldn't have gone through the sea <laughs> in the first place. <laughs> anyway, uh, I started to swim, but it w was no use. You know, the, the, the current was so strong. But I was very lucky that uh, a small like rock, uh, it was like, like tw 10 meters across. Uh, I've seen it, it wasn't far. So somehow I managed to swim to this rocky uh, island or some small, small rocks uh, on, on the sea. Uh, I got quite beat up when I tried to uh, yeah, climb onto them because there was a big wave, so I was mm -hmm. like cut. Or, or, or. But anyway, I managed to uh, to climb the rocks and uh, to get out of the sea. And uh, it was uh, in the evening already when I when I managed to uh, um, be cast uh, on this <laughs> this small rock, and uh, the the storm was very strong um, so I, I felt like yeah I'm not going to spend the night in this uh, this rocky outpost um, I found uh, a small uh, a small um, like shelter uh, it was below below, below this this rocky um, um, like some rocks I, I don't know it doesn't matter but I had to spend the night uh, anyway uh, on this on this rock. Uh, I know that uh, I didn't sleep uh, at all. But mm. uh, during the night, uh, there was this uh, this ship or it was a small boat that came with uh, a reflector with uh, like a spotlight. Mm. And uh, I guess they were uh, some, some someone told them that I rented this kayak and didn't come back. So mm -hmm. uh, during the night, like at two or three a.m. They they saw me on the spotlight. I just waved at them that I'm okay. Uh, so they went away. <laughs> they didn't pick me up. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I guess that. <laughs> oh, he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. He will manage. <laughs> no, uh, I was uh, I was fine, and uh, I guess that if they picked me up, it it mm, they were still waves. So uh, I, I think they were afraid that they would uh, the the boat would get damaged. Uh, on the rocks, so I spent the night, and in the morning uh, the the um, the sea was calm, and I, I had the kayak still. I uh, tied it onto the rock, so like a king, <laughs> I <laughs> came back to, to the nice. large island, nice. and everything yeah. was fine. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, when I look back, yeah, it could have gone <laughs> very very wrong. Uh, <laughs> I do have. Uh, I, I know that it's it's not a, your business, but uh, I can show you a picture. Uh, <laughs> Nobody will see, but uh, yeah, we can we can put it into. The you can, yeah. all right. Uh, yeah. It's it's funny. Uh, I I'm going to. 
you, you know, this, because I, I yeah. thought I only had my phone, yeah. but there was no signal. Uh, and I thought, okay, this is like the end. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take a selfie just for the other generations. <laughs> yeah, when they find you. <laughs> when they find me, <laughs> so they know that. <laughs> <and it's> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. How I look like. Um, and you know, this the story inspired me uh, a lot. So so I decided, since you have such a strong survival instinct yeah <laughs> then i thought we can we can make a little game about it yeah okay yeah so i, I hope uh I, ho i hope you're ready yeah yeah we'll have a little bit of theory first and then we're gonna put this theory to practice hey that's me <laughs> you do like from, you do look like from castaway yeah <laughs> yeah I like let's do the game and then we're gonna talk a little more about kayaking and so on. All right. Uh, so first of all, we have we have uh, we have a quiz, yeah. So about survival and about survival techniques. And so basically, the game will have multiple parts. We we'll start with the quiz, uh -huh. and then each of us will collect points, and then the. Oh, so so it's so like you're playing against me, basically. Yeah, I'm playing against you. Yes. And are you a survivalist? Uh, I also like back uh, backpacking, but. Uh, I was never cast away on a tiny island. And yeah, so <laughs> so I had an advantage, all right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and where were you uh, um, backpacking? Um, la last trip, I, I did myself, uh, by myself, I, I was I biked from here to Berlin. Wow. Uh, there was like, for, it, was, it took five days and then I would uh, sleep in the tent mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, that was that was really nice. Um, and you like have a mountain bike or a, uh, it, it a road is like, bike? Oh, that, that's the only bad part about it that I had. Uh, uh, it's a bicycle. Of, like I have um, a more of a, um, a racing bike, and you cannot do trips with it. So I had the bicycle of my girlfriend, and it's a bit too small. <laughs> and then from a the fourth Pink. day, my knees were killing me. It's 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 just you have to you have to be well equipped. That's when I learned it. So. Yeah, yeah. you're li like me. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Not this a very somewhere. good preparer. <laughs> exactly. So, um, okay, we'll okay let's go to, to question number one. If you get bitten by a snake, you suck the venom out, capture the snake as an evidence, <laughs> cut the wound and let it bleed, call an ambulance. Like, depends what kind of snake. Uh, but I know that uh, you shouldn't suck the venom out. Yeah. Someone told me. It doesn't. Are you saying it is a medical professional or? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> no, I, I think that you're supposed to um, <laughs> call the ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> call a doctor. <laughs> okay. yeah, no, yeah. not me. <laughs> not me. Um, <laughs> okay. Maybe if you get, you know, uh, bitten in the. Uh, all right. Uh, can you say um, anus? <laughs> <laughs> you can call me. <laughs> um, <laughs> then no, definitely nobody will suck the man out. <laughs> okay. So what's your pick? Uh, I also don't know the answer. No, I, I think the, the correct, uh, correct answer is call an ambulance. But I like the capture the snake as an evidence because I think that if you get <laughs> bitten, the first thing that you do is that you <laughs> run uh, and uh, catch the snake. No. It should be good to know which what kind of snake has bitten you also. Yeah, yeah they, 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 I there guess. are different anti anti sera for this, I think. Yeah, uh, but in Czech Republic we have only one uh, venomous snake, yeah. which is easier because okay. <laughs> uh, it is only one one thing to to get bitten. Cut the wound and let it bleed is nice because you can bleed out before you get uh, poisons. <laughs> uh, so that's that's something that that can be done. Uh, yeah, call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. Okay, yeah. That uh, was, you should, you should that have was waited like for my a no-brainer. Yeah, I would <laughs> also pick the call an ambulance. Okay, so it's one one. one okay, one. and then uh, next next question. Oh, this is nice. If you get attacked by a bear, you not grizzly bonus. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. That's a bonus question. Like, uh, yes. If it's a grizzly, you should do something else. I guess, I guess that would make sense. Uh-huh. Shout fight back, 
Climb a tree, bears yeah. can't climb. But grizzlies can can climb, I know that. So you shouldn't climb a tree because grizzly will just go after you. Uh, run away as fast as you can. I don't think you can no, outrun you, a bear. You cannot outrun a bear. If you are with someone who runs slower than you, <laughs> yes. that's... Uh, <laughs> Always that's go hiking <laughs> with a <the> fat guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, play dead. I would play dead. Play because dead? Uh, if, yeah. I will, I will pick climb a tree since we or, have the grizzly bomb. You can shout. I think that you can scare off a bear, yeah. but you shouldn't fight back. Uh, I, I think the correct answer, but it's not uh, in the... Um, you cannot pick it. It's just to slowly back away. Yeah. Um, and face the bear. Yeah. And then, yeah, play dead. Uh, for me, it's it's A, play dead. Okay, I, will take, I, I, I would climb a tree, I guess. That would be my first reaction. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, so, is this like the grizzly situation or not? Not grizzly. Oh, the, okay. Not non-grizzly situation. Non-grizzly. Well... Mm, I would still play dead. Okay. I'm not a good climber. I'm good at playing dead. Okay. So, I would play dead. Well, what? shout, fight back. Fight back the bear. Fight... Fight off a bear. Um, Have you seen Resonant? Yes. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> he, he, you know, he not, I had no chance at fighting back. Uh, yeah. And that was Unless like it's a, yeah. DiCaprio, so... Well, yeah. he, he is good at fighting. Yeah. So, but I, I, we have to trust a research so, team, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So, uh, so it's 1-1 one, one still? Uh, yeah, it's still 1-1. One, one. We, both, both, we were both wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, and I think this is the last uh, of, the, of the questions. You get stuck in a desert, your best chance of getting water is... Start sweating, probably. <laughs> obtain, <laughs> obtain, obtain water from a cactus. That's a good one. Hunting for small desert animals and drink their blood. Search yeah. for blood in lower altitudes. Blood? Water. Uh, water, <laughs> yeah. It was, it's the blood. The bl uh, once I see blood, it's... Uh, <laughs> Search for water in lower altitudes, uh, not moving much, saving energy and hoping somebody, someone will find you. Yeah, cactus. Cactus? Yeah, okay. cactus for me. Uh, hunt, I mean, obviously then I have to, think, uh, to, to hunt the small desert animals. You, you, you would drink their blood. Obvious, You're like a yes. blood drinker. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, again. Oh, yeah. Lower altitude. I think we, we like it, it was when obvious you are in death, already. Death Valley, you cannot get lower than that. <laughs> it um, was obvious already before that we will die if yeah. we get lost so, somewhere, but it just uh, verifies it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's still 1 1. Let's continue with the game. Let's, we have now to put the theory into practice. So, uh, yes, we have. Uh, well, ah, oh, we have another one. Is it the last one? Okay. A first thing you need to do in a survival situation. Find water. Find a way out, look for people or any signs of civilization. Mark your location as you move in case someone is looking for you. Build a shelter, make weapon, make yourself a weapon. <laughs> oh yeah. If you want to fight off the bear, you, you <laughs> yeah. should have a weapon, that's true. But uh, no, water. It, it depends, you know, it's too, too general. Uh, but... Find a way out. I would look for civilization. Yeah, uh, look for civilization. You, you have to pick something else. Uh, yeah, because I will, you, okay, I will take a... a, a, a we have to, to you, find water, I think. You, you, yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh man, ah. you, you won. So but you, you still have a chance, you still have a chance, uh, here the, the game number two, uh, now we're gonna put the theory to practice, and we have, uh, uh, I don't know, are you grossed out really easily? Um, well, it depends. Yeah. Um, like, uh, about so, this green. So, so look, we have a, a tasty meal here, whoop. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. So, um, you'll, get, you'll get a point uh, if you try each of them. Yeah, so well, this is don't tell me what the, this thing is. Okay. And maybe I can eat it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so those I, do you want to know what those are? Yeah, unfortunately I know what this is. Th those are silkworms for the yeah. Ones. yeah, I will Where did you get it? I it's easily like, obtainable it in the in the <laughs> from your cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> the um 
uh, the awkward part is they only sell like 500 gram package so i will have to eat the rest of it <laughs> for out a month <laughs> to, to be honest to be honest i uh, i cooked them once uh, i baked them with like soy sauce and ginger and it was not bad uh, those are raw though so you have eaten them already uh, yeah but like cooked so, those uh, are that's raw. unfair because uh, you know that it, it's <laughs> Um, oh, man. You don't have to do it, but you know, it's like uh, you get a no, point for each one. It's a challenge, so yeah. You know, if 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 it wasn't, mm. I, I will get <laughs> yeah a little bit of. Uh, you you still have some? I do. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I think. So do you think like? Oh man, they're squishy. And yeah, they're really squishy. I thought that they were supposed Ooh, they're, to be. They're juicy. Yeah, I thought they were supposed to be like um, dried out. No, <laughs> not these ones. So they they have been uh, they've been they've been dead. frozen. Oh, They're defrosted. Okay. Defrosted. Yeah. Okay. At least that, that they kill, are not kills, alive. It kills mo most of the bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and are you supposed to eat it from the head down or from the tail? Yeah. Uh, are we doing like with swallowing or just bi or are we just swallowing or biting too? Yeah, do you have to chew it? Oh, so, yeah. Come on. <laughs> chew it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chew it. Well, uh, let's, uh, it's nice that you uh, have <laughs> the I, I, I just go raw. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's about survival here. Um. <laughs> if I put it on the fork, it, it will... Not very smelly. Smell, not, smell, not very smelly. Uh, okay. I've, unfortunately... Oh, come on. <laughs> Okay. Like, where is COVID when you need it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will just, uh, I will go first, okay? Mm. Uh. Mm. Yeah, it just actually, it tastes like, a, 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 like the like starch water of potato. Like, you like, know when you kind of have starchy water from potatoes? You drink water from potatoes? From potatoes? Uh, like, okay, I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm hey, not going to say anything anymore. You know, is this like the, the warm blood or...? <laughs> um, it's, maybe. Uh, um, it's leaking. I hope that it's not the contents of its uh, gut. No, maybe I will go for a second. Will I get extra points? <laughs> <laughs> and when you <laughs> when you squeeze it, it like emit. Oh, mm, the second one was worse. Mm. No, it's not better when you try and. Uh... All right, I'll just go for it. Yes. Oh man. Uh. <laughs> I'm mm. never eating potatoes again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Isn't it a bit like starchy kind of? Yeah, it, uh, fortunately it doesn't have much taste, yeah, you know, th it's I just mean, water. Aftertaste lingers though. Yeah. Like, no, I guess uh, be because it was frozen, uh, mostly what you feel is like the water which was defrosted from it, but mm. it's still disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're welcome. Okay, uh, thank you, thank yes, you. And okay. don't tell me what this is. Okay, okay. Uh, and don't tell me afterwards <laughs> <laughs> also, okay? okay. <laughs> we'll just try to post it in the chest. <laughs> it's sour. I want to think it's like uh, vegan jerky. <laughs> oh, you have really low expectation on vegan <laughs> products, I have to say. I have never eaten vegan. I, uh, I suppose that it's something like this. It is ve Okay, it is vegan, but it's not like a special vegan. <laughs> okay, I will tell you now. It, it is dried bamboo. Oh, well, that's not bad. <laughs> I mean... But sometimes, when, when it's about survival... Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so, it was uh, like... It's hard to find gross stuff in, in the supermarket. <laughs> in some, well, no, but this was uh, very disgusting. You know? yeah. The bamboo, it's fine. I would eat it like uh, any day. Mm. Yeah, I find the bamboo worse somehow. Okay. Like, <laughs> 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 so you can take my worms if you want. 
I'll will, take a bumper. Yeah, bump. maybe afterwards. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's, it's, I think it's two it's points for both of us. Yeah, like uh, it's. Uh, so we still won. Uh, yes, but it's not the end. Oh come on! It's not the end. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can. More gross can stuff. Those, uh, no, no more gross stuff. Now it's about. Uh, uh, let's call your physical survival skills. Okay, so um, since, <laughs> since um, imagine you're caught uh, <laughs> on a tiny island somewhere <laughs> in Thailand, okay. and uh, to survive you need to cut uh, open a coconut as fast as you can. Yeah. So we have two coconuts. We have a bunch of tools here. We have a big knife. We have a hammer. Uh, I, I like this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a potato peeler. Yeah. And a screwdriver. So. Um, somebody will stop a time for us and it's gonna be uh, you against me who will open coconut the fastest all right so you take you grab a coconut you grab a bowl whatever tools you need you can choose the coconut they're not uh, uh, <laughs> I would say they're not they're not prepped <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah I guess this one so, uh, do you like have to pick your weapon uh, yeah. of choice? Uh... No, you can use anything you want. Uh, okay. This is if you use the bowl, maybe so not to spill um, the coconut. <laughs> you think that I will manage to get inside? Um, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, and um, so. Oh yeah, the timer. Yeah, whenever you're ready, just uh, start the timer. Okay. Or I will start it for you. Let's do it like this. I will start it for you. Okay, so so we are not doing it like. Uh... No, unfortunately, I only had one hammer <laughs> at home. <laughs> so. But it will be easier because when I manage to get inside, yeah. you will already know how to do it. Yeah. Do, do you want me to like get out uh, and you do it no, by yourself <laughs> and then I come back? I don't think that's necessary. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, we can whenever start you're the timer. Ready. Okay. One, two, three, go. So it's gonna be loud. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're doing great. <laughs> okay. And now I, I should drink it or? Yeah. Okay. I kind of now you che you you cheated the system. I thought you will like open it, <laughs> open it straight through. But uh, a good choice. Let's say yeah. you needed you needed 25 seconds to make a to make a hole. Make a hole. How about how about opening it completely? How? Yeah. Uh, well, um, I would just throw it out the window, but <laughs> I guess that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when you drink the water, yeah, then you don't have to you know be uh, um, be too careful with it. Yeah. So, or I can bang it. Uh, on your, on your head. Oh, yeah, sorry. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hit me. No, uh, I'm too afraid to use the knife because yeah. I, I, I guess that I would okay. uh, um, hurt myself. Okay. So should I just uh, like pry it open? Uh, it's, it's, I think it's good. Okay, so yeah. yeah. And you should make another hole so that uh, the Decom air can come in. Decompresses. So okay. Decompress. Like, yeah. It's like when you uh, open the milk carton. Yeah, you have to make two holes, so I guess ah, that's a good tip. Similar. Okay, now now it's gonna be me. Uh, so okay, it's should, I, should I? Should uh, I? Uh, okay, I will. Uh, yes. So I will start it a little bit earlier so that I can win. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so so you're I'm not. I'm, I will open the whole coconut. Yeah, this is my. I have a coconut opening technique. Okay, so uh, yeah. just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, go. Does this count? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> this is an old coconut that's not supposed it's to. Not an egg, you know. Yeah. It's... Oh, nice. Wow. So stop. Twenty seconds. That was great. But you spilled some of the milk. Yeah. I usually strain it and then drink drink it afterwards. But yeah. You yeah, but better. at least I get also um, a lunch. Yeah, uh, that's true. So uh, you won this one, uh, I I, hmm. I admit. But then again, it looked yeah. like you already have some experience. Uh, to be okay <laughs> again, uh, it is <laughs> a little bit, I guess. <laughs> it didn't look like you were doing it the first time. I'm it, sorry. No, no, I, I think that you. It's true. It's true. I. Um, it is surprising how regularly I'm opening coconuts. <laughs>
Ja. Die ist auch gut. Ja, da ist auch fein. Der so, when I. Uh, hm. When you invited me to this uh, not switch, I didn't, I didn't expect to do this. <laughs> okay. <That's true. laughs> so, uh, we, can, we can take this away. So okay, so now I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I I'm leading with, uh, I think, two points. Uh, two yeah. points, yeah. Okay, so now is there a, a bonus round just for, for you? For five points. For you, yes. You get actually for each, th you each uh, so you can win. Um, uh, Let's say you know I'm generous. Ten points in total, yeah. But it is it's like it is a hard one. When you when you catch the snitch. Basically yes, <laughs> but it's a hard one. It's a really hard one because now you know we've been talking about all of those wild animals. Uh huh. Now you have to tame one. Now you have to tame a wild animal. Yeah, I hope it's uh, not the worm. Yeah, is uh, the so please bring bring in bring in the lion, please. Oh, hi! <laughs> so you have to tame, you have to tame the lion. Hello. Is this uh, the this Hicks excrements? No, those are those are treats. Those are treats. Okay. okay. Look, so wait uh, for the for the camera. What's his, what's his, his name? name? His name is Calvin. Calvin. Yes. Yeah, say hi to everybody. Uh, Hello, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> he, really, he really doesn't like the head, so we're gonna take it yeah, off. Yeah, I think it's, so. It's for uh, the show. Whoop. Yeah, if you can. You're supposed to. Yeah. Okay, so your challenge is, is to tame the lion. So if you can make him uh, give you paw, and if you can uh, make him lie down, okay. for each of these you will get uh, you will get five points. Okay. Yes, right. you have treats. Okay. Yeah, you know his name. Calvin. It's like Kelvin, like... Uh, like Kelvin Klein, yeah. Oh yeah, Kelvin Klein, okay. Hi, Kelvin. Um, sit. Good boy. And paw. Okay. Paw. Oh, uh, you can take them yeah, off. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, is he like, uh, can he speak Czech? He speaks English. Only English, okay. And okay. maybe a little bit of Italian. Uh, how do you say uh, "poor" in Italian? I know, he, but he knows in English. He, okay. he can do everything in English. Poor, Calvin. Poor, good boy. <laughs> he doesn't like the treats. Uh, and lie down. Lie. Oh, is it like lay? No, lie. Lie down. Lie down. Do you have? Like, can I use the worms, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Be better not, I'm like... No, I, I, I'm not I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, he's he might, too cute. He, uh, he might get down. there, yeah, and I'm responsible. Lie down. Lie down. 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 Yeah. yeah. My, my son doesn't uh, do this either when, when I want something. <laughs> lie. Lie down. <laughs> <laughs> lie, down. lie down. Do you have like? Um, he doesn't appear to like this, or he is already eaten. Lie down. Lie down. How do you say it in Italian? Uh, but he know he knows it in English, so. <laughs> he knows he knows it in English. And do you like say lie down? No, that's the opposite. <laughs> Calvin, lie down. <laughs> Whoop, is he yours? Uh, he's my roommate, so I'm, I'm so, taking yeah. care of him. <laughs> so, but but no. you were on the wrong, uh, on the, on the right uh, on the right track. Yeah. yeah. It's like Calvin, Calvin down, down. Calvin, down. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Okay. No, it's he's so cute. So uh, this one doesn't didn't count for me obviously because it's, it's yeah. be too easy. But you get the five points and then you're the overall leader and uh, <laughs> the master of survival. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, I guess this. <laughs> so I, I would like to like uh, give, give him the treats and uh, but he, he doesn't want them. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, point. I think he was a little bit stressed. Yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. Um, um, do we have any other question from the audience? Not yet. But otherwise, I wanted to ask you about. Um, huh? I should put him away. But it's not. <laughs> but I, I like, like the one. Uh, your gastroenterologist, you smell and tasted worse things. I mean, what do you think a gastroenterologist does? <laughs> taste. Taste. I, I don't, the, but okay, okay. No, this, I have a question. I have a question. Can you tell the difference if a patient has a, a, a C. difficile diarrhea by smelling it? Everybody's no. like it's always written in the books as like oh horribly smelling it that uh, like experience. Do you really nurses. want to know the answer to this question? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> no, I can't, but the nurses can. Yeah. Yeah, the nurses because they they uh, obviously are uh, the ones unfortunately who are closer to these these things, and uh, so they they can tell you whether it smells like CD uh, diarrhea, uh, not not me, and. Just for the record, okay, gastroenterologists, we hate feces, all mm. right? We hate them, we don't like them, and uh, we don't want to have anything to do with them. <laughs> if a patient has feces in the colon, we just send him back, <laughs> all right? So yeah. we do not deal with excrements. Yeah. We hate patients who vomit. Uh, <laughs> we just like it clean and, uh, you know, uh, so don't think like gastroenterologists deals with, with this kind of stuff. Mm. We are very hygienic and people. Then, yeah. <laughs> I watched a few endoscopies, like a clean, the clean colon looks quite neat, I have to say. It's like exactly. a, a nice tunnel. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it's nice. It's like, it looks like some, sometimes like a mirror, you know, the, the, the mucosa. It's, it's yeah. great when it's clean. So uh clean colons <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. That's, that's our motto yeah do you um concerning concerning backpacking do you have any um or what what excites you about it uh i don't know um, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I know that you're supposed to say the freedom and the, uh, uh, adventure the, the adventure so. yeah. no for me it's just uh the experience you, you want to um, you know you want to um, go somewhere. Uh, I hate people. Okay. I think that's the the, the um, thing. Uh, why I like backpacking. Uh, I don't want to be anywhere close to people when I'm, you know, on my holiday. So mm. I have I get uh, a lot of that at work. So um, when I have time off, I want to be somewhere where there is no one. Yeah. And the only way you can do it basically is backpacking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I guess that's what, what, what interests me uh, about it. Just be away, of, of, uh, be away from, from people. Oof! <laughs> he, he, he agrees. Yeah. <laughs> he, he agrees. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have a dream destination like, that you really would like to go? Um, yeah, maybe, maybe Japan, but... Uh, not uh, not now. Maybe when I'm older. Uh, it's also quite expensive, I heard. Mm. Uh, and I like uh, the north, um, Lapland. Mm. I've been there already, but um, wanted to turn uh, return to that region. I I, I love it there. Uh, and obviously now, when uh, we have uh, a small child, uh, me and my wife uh, were thinking about maybe only going to the sea and uh, to be in some small hotel uh, with uh, all the stuff, uh, the food and uh, so that you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this kind of normal holiday. Okay. So yeah. I think backpacking is, my backpacking days are, <laughs> are over, mm. but it's not a bad thing. I think I, I have seen uh, and <laughs> lived through some <laughs> interesting stuff, so uh, I'm, not, uh, uh, I'm not resenting it. I guess that it's time for normal holidays. Okay. And what about you? Where do you want yeah. to go? Well, I think uh, I, I haven't. I would definitely like to go to to South America. It really fascinates yeah. me, uh, and like for for a long time. I think uh, those best holidays, if you can can afford to do like a month or more in uh, uh, at once, you know, then you can really dive into into it and uh, do. 
yeah, really, really feel like you're exploring the country, not uh, just, I don't know, oh, you go there, you take pictures of the maybe the two main attractions and then you go back home already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and do you like want to uh, also um, meet the people and you know, learn their... Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. definitely. Like, uh, I think meeting people is is the defining feature of like uh, vacations for me i think mm -hmm. they kind of make the uh, many times those are the stories uh, that are done by uh, you you met some this uh, interesting person somewhere or you had uh, you know this uh, the, 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 this encounter or something like that yeah 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 that's um, true not for me but really because I, I just want to be in the wilderness but i get it yeah uh, the wilderness as well like the nature but if if it's about then um yeah the the other side of it is also the yeah the people and the culture of, yeah um yeah i hope i hope we'll, <laughs> we'll have an opportunity to do it and um yeah i think that's it for uh for today and uh, this was uh, my last interview, uh, so I think it's uh, it's in the end of an era. Um, it was it was really it was really exciting, and uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, thank you for coming, and thank you for inviting me. And uh, I'm glad that I I've met you, and uh, this was your last interview. So I'm glad that we uh, we saw each other. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Um, then everybody you will you will still uh, see running from cheetahs but uh with uh, emily next time and otherwise uh stay safe uh stay happy study hard uh <laughs> see <laughs> see you see you sometime i guess bye 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 every morning and every night